fiercely against human being. The human being is pressing, is pressed from all sides, harassed by strange and frightful things, and has no knowledge of where they come from. Isn't that true for us this morning? Sicknesses come, and we cannot explain them. Death comes knocking on our doors, and we cannot explain it. Situations and tribulations come, and we cannot explain it. Our brothers and sisters turn against us, and we cannot explain it. And the more seriously a person deals with this life, the more intense a person is in thought and speech, the harder a person struggles. Then all the greater do those ghosts become, until exhausted and saddened, the person lays down own, one's own weapons and submits these to the ghosts and their might. With a faint smile and with wiser experience, one resigns to the fact that there is nothing complete on perfect or perfect on earth. And so we try to learn and do what is good, but without God, we try to be moral people and the ugly finger of morality points to us and says, stop doing this, stop doing that. Come on, if you only try harder, if you only are a bit better, only if you read this telephone book, only if you do this, only if your mind changes, only if you change the way you think and your psychology and all these other things, only if you become more learned, but without God. We look within ourselves, but without God, and we find no peace within ourselves. We seem to be still those hateful people, those bitter people, those sad people, those poor people. We want to work and earn, use our abilities, and call something of our own without God, but then we conquer the world, and there is nothing that we have gained. That is why Jesus Christ has said, if a man tries to save his own life, he will lose it. And if he tries to lose his own life, he will save it. What does it help you if you conquer the whole world and you have not Jesus Christ? What does it help you if you have all the riches in the world? It helps you nothing if you have not Jesus Christ this morning. What does it help you if you work a little bit harder and have not Jesus Christ? And so Baal... We worship uh, to Baal, enveloping us in his claws and making us his sad and beleaguered servants to a system of modern capitalism. And so people become more focused on their jobs, on getting more money, on me and me and me, on working a bit harder. Why don't we cut some hours from prayer and put him to our work? Why don't we cut some hours of fasting and reading the scriptures and sacrifice the Sunday and put him to something else, put him to greater use, we think. Let us cut all these things we say to ourselves. We become slaves to the systems of this world. We want to know the truth, but without God. And the dark ghost of experience or scientific thought rises up against us. And with a sullen, mocking face begins to tell us with un about the unalterable conditions, about the laws of nature, about how we are evolved from simple beings, how there is nothing more to you. You are just chemicals in your brain, and that is it. There is no soul to you. There is no divine spark in you. You are no different than an animal. That is what the world tells you this morning. This is the world without God. This is the world of human beings. The world where we only see what is natural and not what is spiritual. Words like fate, historical necessity, evolution, struggle for existence, natural selection, accident, dependencies willed by God. Yes, all that the world tells us. We wish to live and be good to our fellow human beings and between us and then emerge like the stones of an unsurmountable wall the differences of position and class of people's religions parties, standpoints education, character and view of life we want to love and honor our home and the people of our country but without God and there are borders in our maps, and it shows us our hostility. And I am Mexican, and you are Salvadorian, and you are something else this morning. Peruvian, Puerto Rican, American, white, black, Chinese. All these boundaries that we have created for ourselves. All these races, all these castes we have created for ourselves. We try to be good to each other. We talk about the brotherhood of all humanity. And yet there are still divisions among ourselves. And we separate ourselves from another. We want to think about the end of our earthly outer existence without God. 
and must see the repulsive picture of death that has nothing to say to us but nothing. Once you are dead, it is finished. There is nothing more else to you. There is nothing awaiting you. And that is why the atheist sometimes prefers this truth. Aldous Huxley, he wrote, I do not want to believe in God because I know that if there is a God, I must give account. I must stand on that day of judgment. The atheist prefers to die than to face the Creator and the Almighty God who will judge them. Who will judge their wickedness. They try to escape this judgment. And so this world says, take care of your body. Be as healthy as you can. And I'm not saying that is not good. That is good.